Hello, my name is Christopher, and today I'm going to show you how to install Glidey's Assistant on Cos OS using Big Bear Cos OS. So, a little bit about this series, I'm going over home labs, or installing things, getting things set up, everything like that. So, if you're interested in that, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel, and let's get started. I wanted to let y'all know about the Big Bear community. We just launched a uh, community on community.bigbeartechworld.com. It's based on Discourse, so go on there, join it, and uh, say hi. So, let's get back to your registered programming. So this is what we've been installing today, Glady's Assistant. Uh, it's a, pri a privacy first a home, a open source a home assistant. Um, it's a more simpler version of a home assistant. It's got a clean UI to it. Um, the big thing about it is the, the privacy uh, because I think home, home assistant has added a lot of analytics and stuff to it. Um, some people don't like that. You can go to get st started and you can go, go to the website up here. And you can see a nice uh, UI to it. You can change the dashboard how, how you like. And then uh, build great dashboards. There we go. Automate your life with scenes. And always one message away. You can also integrate with ChatGPT. Um, lots of capabilities built in. So. That's what we will get to installing today on Cost OS. So I'm going to start on Big Bear Cost OS. There will be a link down in the YouTube description to get to this. And uh, this is a third-party app store that's maintained by Big Bear Tech World and the Big Bear community. Um, you can see that there's quite a bit of apps now. And then there's Gl Glidey's Assistant, the one that we'll be installing today. Um, I did make a how to install Big Bear Cost OS on Cost OS video, but I'm going to go over it in, in this video as well. The custom app store is only supported on Cost OS version 0.4.4 or newer. So I'm going to scroll up to App Store URL right here. I'm going to copy it and then I'm going to go over to my Cost OS and get this App Store installed. So now I'm going to start on my Cost OS. I'm going to go to App Store and then Add Source over here. I'm going to click it. A text input pops out. I'm going to paste in the uh, URL we copied and then I'm going to add. Now we have 151 apps, so um, if we want to see all the Big Bear Cost OS, you refresh the page, then you go back into Categories over here, you go to Big Bear Cost OS, and now you can see all the apps in the App Store. So now I'm going to start on Big Bear Cost OS. I'm going to go, go to Apps right here, and then I'm going to scroll down to Gl Gladys, and then I'm going to go into Docker and Pose. So the Cost OS app name is Big Bear Gladys. The, um, I'm going to set some ser services down here, and then the first service underneath the service is called App. And then the image is coming off of Docker Hub by default, and then this is the Docker image. And why it's coming off Docker Hub by default is there's no URL before this. This is the Docker image ta tag. It's the currently the latest version right now. Um, restart always. That means that if you stop it or anything, that it always restart. It's going to give privileged uh, to the uh, cont container as true. And then the network mode is host. And then the container name is Gladys. The C group is ho host. The environment variables are node env uh, production. This is the SQLite fi file path. And then the time zone, but I would set your own time zone here. The server port is 1080. Volumes are, are, are set right here. So on the left side is var run docker.sock. This is on the host. And the right side is the container. And then we, we have a data on the host side. And then a, glide, a var lib glide, glide assistant on the container side. So dev is on the host, dev is on the container run udev is on the host side and then on the container side is run udev and then um i'm going to set some, some cost os specific, specific information right here to explain the environment variables the volumes the ports and then i'm going to set app, the app store cost os specific information 
So the architecture is that the Docker image up here supports is AMD64 and ARM64. The main is set to the service name of app up here, and that, and then the, this is app. It's underneath the services. And then uh, the description for the app store, the taglines, the developer's name, which is Gladys Assistant, the author of the Docker Compose, which is Big Bear Tech World, and the icon being used in the app store, the thumbnail, and then the screenshot link, and then a title, a category, so all the apps in Big Bear Cost OS can be found by clicking the Big Bear Cost OS category like I did in the last video. And then um, the port map is 1080, and this rhymes with the uh, server port up here that's 10, 1080. Um, this is set to network mode host. That means that the the ports are already on the host system and you don't need to port map anything. So that's about the Docker and Post for Gladys Assistant. So I wanted to let you know uh, about the Big Bear Club. Uh, 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 you can join it and it greatly supports this channel and I very much appreciate it. So, uh, if you'd like to join the Big Bear Club, you can go down the YouTube description and uh, go to my Ko-Fi link and join it from there. So, let's get back to registered programming. So, now I'm going to install Gladys Assistant in Cost OS. So, I'm going to go to App Store, and then I'm going to type Glad. And then, th there we go. We got it up. And, you know, it's coming from Big Bear Cost OS because of this category down here. And then, I'm going to go into it, and then I'm going to install... Now, what this is doing is it's downloading the Docker container off the registry, getting it extracted, and getting it up with Docker Compose underneath. Um, it's downloading the Docker image. Um, so, it's extracting now. And now it's up and running. So, we got it installed. So, now I'm going to start on my Cost OS. I'm going to go up to the top right here to the vertical dots. And then, I'm going. you can open in the web UI. You can set some tips, so you can go to mine here to the editor button, and you can type in here, it's like a notepad, and then you press save, it'll reload the container in the background and say Glidey's assistant is okay. And then you can go in the settings, and then you can edit the container settings right here. You can also go up to terminal logs, and you can be inside the, uh, the container right here. You can also go to the logs right here, this is great for debugging. You can export the Docker Compose. I'm going to exit that. So um, you can check for updates for the current tag it's on. Then you can uninstall, restart, and power off and on. So now I'm going to go into my Cost OS. I'm going to go into the Files app. And then I'm going to go to App Data. And then Big Bear Gladys right here. And then you can go into Data. And then you can see all the files that are inside of Gladys right here. You can uh, check check mark this, download, copy, cut, delete, and cancel. You can also go up to the top right horizontal uh, dots right here and download, copy path, rename, cut, copy, share, and delete. And then you can go into it and you can go, go in further and look at the files, everything like that. So that's where your uh, files are located in Cost OS for Big Bear Gladys. So now I'm gonna go in the UI. So you can open it from here or you can open it from here. So now, welcome to Gladys. I'm gonna create a local account, and then I'm going to just put some information in for the email, and then a password. And then now, once you do that, you're gonna say, just create an account. Now you're gonna pick your temperature unit, your distance unit, and keep device state uh, history for three months, six months, year, Two, two, two years and forever, one week and one month. So I'm going to leave it on three months. Save settings. So now you can put your, uh, your, your home in. So Big Bear Home. And then I'm going to just put that. And uh, so you can also put your rooms in here. So first room. There we go. And then I'm going to save. So now it's going to say thank you and the person who made it. So I'm going to go to, to the dashboard. So now you can see your dashboard. You can go into new and you can create a new dashboard. So now I'm going to create. 
So now you can put columns in here. So you can go like this. And then um, you can put an alarm. Then you can go over the second column. You can put a um, a uh, clock. Then you can do analog or digital. And then you can show se seconds. You can also do that. And there we go. So um, now we can save down here. And there we go, alarm panel, and then your time. You can go full screen, tablet mode. You can also edit this again, and then you can move this stuff around. And then press the save button, then it's moved around. You can go into the chat right here and just say testing. Didn't understand that. You can also have chat GPT integrations. I doubt it'll work, but I'm going to just do this. And you need a open weather API integration, but it did work. It is chatting with you. Okay, now you can go to integrations. You can set integrations up. You can also go to the calendar and see that. You can go a map and see where your home is, and you can create a new zone. You can also go to scenes and create a new scene. You can also go up here to your profile. You can go to settings. Users, se sessions, uh, plus a ba backups, uh, ta a task, and then the services, and then system information like connected, disk, uptime, version, set your time zone, start da a database cleaning. So that's a little bit about Glidey's Assistant and how to get it on Cos OS. So I just went over everything to get Glidey's Assistant wor working on CosOS using Big Bear CosOS, the third-party app store. So if you like this tutorial, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And if you have any video sessions or you need community support, you can go out on the Big Bear community and join our forum. There's a link in the YouTube description. So stay tuned for more.